Hey guys, this is Rick User with Arrogant Web and Arrogant Web TV here at SHOT Show 2017. And we're hanging out with our friends here at Hawk with my buddy Brad. Brad, how you doing, my friend? Good to see you, Rick. Always happy to have you. I wanted to kind of come by and do our interview like we do every sure. year. And you've got some stuff new for this year, and we want to kind of recap on some other stuff Certainly. that we've already talked about. But let's start with a recap first. What do you okay. think? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the Frontier. Now, the Frontier guys, I gotta tell you, I had the chance to use this in South Carolina. Yes. Put it on a rifle, we'll shoot 100 yards. What a difference. Really, really nice product. I, you got, you know all the technical stuff. Why don't you go through right. what this is? Certainly. Okay, this is, our, um, this is our flagship series. This is our Frontier 30 side focus. 21 layers of coatings, 30 millimeter mono tube, 11 intensity levels of red illumination and of course it is a side parallax adjustable it's got nice low profile turrets good, like so it's, it's more for a, a hunting disposition sure like you like there's two reticle choices available in this chassis uh the tmx which you're very fond of sure. and like and also our lr dot which is really more of a hunting reticle for, That's for higher, powder burner like yeah. a 308 yeah higher, yeah, 30 cal six, higher caliber guns yeah. And then also, of course, there's the there's the little brother, which is the two and a half by 15, with the same two reticle choices and all of the same features. Now, from an air gunner's perspective, one of the things that you got to be aware of that does parallax only down to 30 yards, correct? The the 30 power. Okay. The five by 30, yes, but the two and a half by 15 does parallax to 10. Okay. So I actually have the the five to 30. 30. Yes. And that's what I was shooting at 100 yards with. And such a difference when you're in the wind, that TMX reticle, because it gives you those intersects. You guys know I talk about this every stinking opportunity I can about how much I love that reticle. Because when you're, you know, you're three over and too high, there's an actual dot there to aim Something by. Something to hold on, yeah. And it really, really makes a difference. So if you're out hunting with your air gun and you've got varying conditions, that TMX reticle is phenomenal. And this particular platform is the top of the line for it you guys. It is for us, yes. And, and you can tell, when you look through it, you know you're looking through something that is really some top quality stuff. And the street price on the 5x30 is right at 700 or yeah, 769.99. So there you go. So you know, you may think that's a lot of money, but if you got $1500 in an air gun, exactly. $700 for the, a quality optic that puts you on target. That's really not a, is a lot of value. Not a stretch. Yeah. And I might add we are uh, actually adding another chassis to this family we're, we're adding here in this next few months a 1 to 6. Oh wow! But it's got more. It, that's a that's more of a, cool. a tactical thing. No, I, I can already think of. I went hog hunting recently. Yes. And that would have been. I mean, that something like that would be perfect on like a close range bore gun, a close range. Okay. Bore gun. Well, that's going to be a fixed parallax. It's not sided. That's fine. Parallax, but if I'm so. shooting what 30, 50 yards, of something course. like that. Yeah, you're good. Would be good to go. So excited about that. All right. So All right. now let's move on to some stuff new to me, maybe not new to you. So spotting scopes. Yeah. When you start shooting at 100 yards and you're shooting paper, uh, you don't really see the little 177 or 22 hole mm -hmm. in the target. So I've become really accustomed to using your spotting scopes and uh, they're pretty nice. So we've really never talked about those. Want to give you a chance to tell okay. us about them. This is actually a, a new chassis that we just introduced this past summer. This is an endurance, part of our endurance family, our, our middle of the road, very affordable. They're actually, this is a 12 by 36 by 50. There are two chassis. We have the angled version and also the straight version. I have the straight version. Do you? It's really nice. So it's got coarse and fine focus. They're really very nice. Uh, these, the street price on these is like two ninety nine ninety nine. They're selling extremely well. I would imagine because when so, I was doing that hundred yard shooting, when you guys, yep. I haven't done the video yet, but you'll see it if, if I haven't already published it by the time this releases. I've actually got the straight chassis, and that comes in a really nice holder. Yeah. You oh, just yeah. sling it, throw it in your backpack. It's super, super convenient. Uh, that's one of the things I really liked about it. That's what yeah. I wanted to talk about. They do come with a uh, Cordura cover that zips on over these yeah. to protect them from all of the elements and everything. And, of course, the lens cover and, yeah. and everything. It's very nice. Twist up eye cup. Nice little piece for $300. Yeah, I think that's a great... Man, if you're out shooting long range, you want something like this. Keeps you from always having to look through your scope all the time. Uh, this is the way to go for sure. So that's, a, that, that's pretty cool. Now, on to the new stuff. The new, new stuff? The new, new stuff. Okay. Now, if you're a hunter like I am, and you're wanting to at least dial in your gun, like you, you want to go out, you want to scout, you want to pick areas that you have known yardages, you know exactly what you're going to be doing so you can set your gun up, do some practice, you know what you're going to be getting yep. for, for ballistics performance, you need a good rangefinder. And you guys, this year, Finally, I brought yes. in the rangefinders here in the U.S. 
Show me what you got. Okay. Here. Actually, in the laser range finders, we're going to have five different models. The little small compact version, there is a 400 meter and a 600 meter available. These are what we call the hunter model. Okay. And they're basically just for ranging. All okay. Right? So two models available here and they're selling, oh, for 180 to $190 okay. is where these are. So nothing uber spectacular about them. But it tells you how far away stuff tells is. Tells you how far away and stuff that's is. That's usually all we need. And then we go into the, the pro versions. There's a 400, a 600, and a 900 version of oh, okay. uh, meters available, and they actually have the angle compensation. Okay. So if, if you're in a tree stand or you're lasering across a, a hilltop or yeah. whatever, that is built into these things. Well, I noticed as I was playing with this a little earlier that there's two buttons. So one powers it on and lasers, and, and then the other one modes, cycles through all mode. that other information that you're yep. talking about. Price point on the price on these one. is 189 to 230. On the Pro? Yeah, yeah, 189.99 really? for the 400, and then up to the 900, you're looking at uh, 230 dollars basically. Okay, and how much for the little one? The little ones, you're looking at 180 and 190 between the 400 and the 600. But it's the same price. Pretty close. So now you've got those to add to the uh, to the arsenal of things to offer, Indeed. and now you've also got game cams. Finally, after all of these years, okay. they've been asking. We have we now have a 10 megapixel, 12 megapixel, and a 14 megapixel little game cams like that available okay. that have the ability to do video, high def video in black and white and color, depending okay. on the time of the day. And you know those they're they're three models. Okay all different types yep. of modes up and down there and those are selling anywhere from oh my lord uh 160 to 300 dollars depending okay. on the megapixels all right so if you go like super high megapixel then you're getting your 300 bucks for, high the, for the 14 megapixel yeah okay 299.99 so that's pretty yeah. cool you're strapped into the trees strapped yep. to whatever you yep. want and you and got that data just so uh touching back the laser rangefinder pros are now in inventory we are okay. shipping them the uh the little compact models, yep. the Hunter versions, are going to be in March when okay. those when those are shipping. Excellent. And all of the cameras, we should be shipping in April. Excellent. Okay. So that covers our new stuff. And you brought this over. I, I did. Think. Grab that. There's a lot of bullpups that have come out, you know, in the last couple of years. And with the rail underneath, putting something like this on, it really adds to that tactical maneuverability. Yep. I think this is pretty pretty cool. And, what, and you also have the laser. The laser. And what I'd like, to, what I'd like to <laughs> add is the laser does have windage and elevation. So okay. if, you, if you're setting your air gun up with a 30 or a 50 yard zero, you can make that the point of impact. So where where that dot is, that's where your pellet's gonna hit. And that's like a second aim point. So exactly. If, like I would think like pesting in your backyard, you know, yeah, if, if you- Birds at night, pigeons, whatever. Well, not only that, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm set for like a 25, 30 yard, you know, it's the most difficult shot I take is not the 50, 75 yard shot. It's the freaking seven and a half yard shot. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I never get that right. But if I get this laser dialed in at that exactly. five to seven yards, then I just bang, I don't even have to use the sight. Correct. I'm right on and it gives me that ability. So, and this feels really solid. Yeah, and really, this, really, really this solid. is uh, that thing, I think street price is $110 on it. So. So, and we, that is a very, very good seller. We sell a lot of those things. Well, Brad, that's a, a lot of cool stuff to talk about here at SHOT 2017. That pretty much wraps up some of the new stuff, right? I mean, it that's does. Pretty I much... mean, we covered the Sidewinder ED previously right. in, in another video. Those. And uh, yeah, this basically covers everything that's, that's new and different in this booth this year. All right. Well, guys, if you're looking for those hunting accessories, you have binoculars too, which oh, we, of we did last yeah, time. We did last year. Yep. But, you know, just really quality glass. I mean, that's what Hawk is about. Yep. Quality glass so whether it's uh, affordable there you go let's throw that in glass. there yeah so we've whether it's a rifle scope whether it's a powder burner or an air gun or it's a spotting scope or it's binoculars or it's range finders or whatever if it's glass accessories too yeah you've got it so guys definitely take a look at the hawk stuff my name is rick user reporting from shot show 2017 thanks for watching see ya